Uh, my name is Glenn Miller. I've been a resident of the West Boundary for a little over 40 years. I originally came from Saskatchewan. I'm a hunter, trapper, and keen on our wildlife, our wildlife resource. Hunting is a good tool in wildlife management, but should not be used, in my opinion, just to make money for uh, other programs the government has. Anything revenue of that should go back into wildlife and habitat. Um, Forty years ago, when I first came to the boundary country, you could go up the Christian Valley, up the main Kettle River, and in the fall time, maybe count 50 mule deer. Um, the old timers told me, well, that was nothing compared to what they used to be. Now you go up there, you don't see hardly a mule deer. I don't think it really warrants the season that we have, let alone an extended season. The last six years I've been involved in a spring count of wildlife, mainly the white-tailed deer and the mule deer. Um, we uh, are one of about 20 uh, counters, dividing up this, each area into small areas of the uh, west boundary. Uh, in six years, we counted uh, six counts a week apart for the first few years. We dropped down to four counts a week apart. Our highest count for that whole area of white-tailed deer was a little over 2,200. Um, I think the count is pretty representative. The white tails come down into the fields and that in the springtime, pretty consistent. I think that represents a high percentage of the deer that are there. The mule deer in that area, the uh, southern part of the hills, which is mostly private land, more people moving in, our highest count has been somewhat over 600 deer. But up the Christian Valley, uh, those areas, we hardly have any mule deer at all. Compared to when there was just herds and herds of them, we've seen such a drastic uh, reduction in particular our mule deer in that area that uh, something has to be done. Maybe one place to start is to definitely shorten and not lengthen the seasons. I do thank you.